Good morning. Today we are going to be talking about burnout. This is something that I think a lot of women in particular struggle with and I want to share three strategies that have helped me to avoid or um, avoid some burnout, not all burnout, but to um, avoid most burnout. Good morning, Court. Good morning, Jane. I know, I love that coffee cup, Olivia. It says, um, do what you like and like what you do. It's from Life is Good. And it's one of my very favorite um, yeah, you're unblocked. I am so sorry, Dina. And I didn't, I accidentally blocked you yesterday. There were so many people coming in saying that needed to be blocked and I accidentally clicked you, but I unblocked you as soon as I got done. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Poor Dina. Um, thank you. This is my straight, I didn't have time to curl my hair look. So, um, thank you so much guys. Um, I know straight hair. Yeah. I actually have straw straight hair. That's my hair is like straw straight. I need to find some way to like, I see those women who have that, like, you know, this beautiful straight hair of mine. It's like when I, it's like just kind of strawish, but that's okay. Um, take what you get and you love what you have. So that's, that's what I'm all about. So anyway, okay. So let's talk about Burnout. Well, first off, for those of you who are new, my name is Crystal Payne, and I am the founder of MoneySavingMom.com, and I am also a wife to Jesse and mom to Catherine, Caitlin, and Silas. They are 10, 8, and 6. We live in the Nashville, Tennessee area, and we um, are self-employed entrepreneurs, and we homeschool. So, so glad to have you all here with us. Teen Payne. I know. I was just telling my husband this morning, I'm like, I'm so thankful for you. Okay, so yesterday I told you that I was reading the pre-release copy of Breaking Busy, and we talked about a stop doing list. Well, today I want to share a little bit more from that book and on the topic of burnout, because Allie Worthington, who is the author of this book, she um, she has this quote in here from Christine. It's Christine Kane, and she says, you don't burn out doing the right things. You burn out because of what you don't do. You don't burn out doing the right things. You burn out because of what you don't do. Uh, when will Breaking Busy be released? I looked, I think it's January 26th. It's available to pre-order on Amazon though, and I I highlighted and underlined and dog-eared so many pages of this book, and um, I would highly, highly recommend it. So you don't burn out doing the right things. You burn out because of what you don't do. And I was thinking about, okay, so what, what are those things that I do that help me to avoid burnout as much as possible? And she had three in here and I thought they were so good and I thought that they are really mine as well. So I'm going to share those with you. Number one, it's Add in time to stay connected to God through prayer and scripture. And I know not everyone watching is a Christian, but for those of you who are, this is something that has made such an impact in my life. Spending time in God's word and in prayer to refresh my spirit, to fill my soul. You burn out when your five hour energy ends. Um, and I have been doing the Philippians study with um, Mackenzie Monroe from Bold Turquoise. That's at boldturquoise.com. I've been doing that this month and have found that to be so helpful and so encouraging as a mom. I love how Mackenzie has specifically set it up for moms. Um, I think that there are a lot of other studies that aren't set up specifically for moms, and I love that. So that's at Bold Turquoise. I also love She Reads Truth, um, the She Reads Truth study and that's at shereadstruth.com. If you're in a really busy season of life, one um, tip that I have for you is not only to listen, um, you can put music and you can put good preaching and you can th put the Bible on your phone and listen there as you just go around your day, as you're cleaning, as you're working, as you're driving in the car. That's one thing that you can do, and, and that's something that I try to do as well. But also the Daily Light, this is a collection of topical scripture. It's just straight scripture, and there's a morning and an evening reading. Worship music in the background. Yes, I, I was just listening to worship music while I was getting ready in the morning. That's 
part of my morning routine is fixing my hair and doing my makeup and listening to worship music. It starts my day so well. But the Daily Light is a compilation of topical scriptures, and it's just straight, straight scripture. And you can get it in whatever translation you prefer. And there's a morning and an evening reading. And when I was first, um, had just two little kids, um, and it was a very busy season of life, and it felt like as soon as I got up, my feet hit the floor and the day began and there was so much to do and I loved to just go in the bathroom and shut the door and turn the fan on and read the daily life. I have a little visitor this morning. Silas, did you want to come say hi? Hi. You poor little boy. He was up with a lot of asthma last night. He's been having a struggling with asthma. He had to go to the doctor yesterday. He's been having asthma and bloody noses. Poor little guy. Um, they're saying good morning, Silas. <laughs> Yeah, poor little boy. We hope he's, we got a, we have a great doctor here that is helping him. So, um, and we're grateful because you have not had a bad, you've not had bad asthma for quite some time, right? Mm -hmm. But then it just got bad recently, so we're trying to get on that. So, um, another thing that I've done is praying on the treadmill. So when I'm on the treadmill in the morning, um, we do use essential oils. We have tried um, some different ones with him so far. We haven't found one that's really made a big difference with his asthma, but we keep trying. Lots of people saying good morning. Um, so Praying on the treadmill and praying over my day. So praying through my day. Praying for my periscopes. Praying for the blog post I'm going to write. Praying for school time. Praying for any meetings that I have. Praying over whatever is going on that day. Taking the time to pray over my day has been so helpful. So number one to avoid burnout is to add in time to stay connected to God through prayer and scripture. Number two, add in time to connect with others. It is so important that we take time to connect with others. We can't live life by ourselves. We weren't created to be loners. We were created to be in community. One of the things that we do, I've talked about a lot, is our Monday group. And every Monday night, just getting together with a group of, there's four to five families that come every week. And just spending that time being intentional about being involved in each other's lives, getting together once a week. And just hanging out and saying, how are you doing? We were created to be in community. Spending time with my husband. Spending time with my kids. Texting friends. As an introvert, this is something that really helps me stay connected with other people because I can't just have people, 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 people all the time or I burn out. And so, but texting, I love texting because um, it is a great way for me to be able to text a friend and say, I'm praying for you today or text a quote. Yesterday, I texted a quote to a friend that I found that was just an encouragement and texting a friend and saying, how can I pray for you this week? Or I just prayed this for you. Sometimes making the time for phone calls, making the time to have face to face time with friends, connecting with friends. That is one way to help that I help myself avoid burnout. So pay attention, ask questions, be involved in other people's lives. And that just a lot of times is, how are you really doing? And then listen to what they say, ask follow-up questions, and then follow up with them a few days later, or the next day, or a week later. Really engage with people. That's how you develop close friendships and really connect with people. Texting is great when your friends are introverts too, I know. Connecting with friends fuels your soul, that's right. Okay, so number one was to Add in time to stay connected to God through prayer and scripture. Number two, add in time to connect with others. And number three, add in time to take care of yourself. For me, this looks like doing things that I love. So scoping is something that I love. And so making time for that because that fills my soul. That encourages me. You all encourage me. Taking that time to do things I love. Writing is something that I love. So making time for writing, reading, exercise, taking time to just laugh. I found a funny video yesterday and um, it was on the whole red cup fiasco thing and it was just a funny video and um, I shared it with my husband and we just laughed over it because sometimes you just 
I have to laugh, you know? Um, coffee, like coffee, you know, spending time, like taking time to just enjoy a cup of coffee. Although yesterday on Instagram, I shared how um, I am really bad about my coffee always getting cold. I don't know if anybody else has that problem, but I posted a picture, I'm the money saving mom on Instagram, of my um, coffee cup in the microwave and talked about re rewarming again. Um, but make, you know, just enjoying that cup of coffee. Um, sleep taking time to sleep that helps me avoid burnout and being with life giving people so three ways that i avoid burnout is remember you don't burn out doing the things doing the right things you burn out because of what you don't do that's what christine kane said and i thought it really challenged me so add in time to stay connected to god through prayer and scripture add in time to connect with others and add in time to take care of yourself yesterday we talked about um creating that stop doing list so what are you going to subtract from your life and today what are you going to add to your life to help you avoid burnout. I'd love to hear from you. Oh, thank you so much for your sweet words. Um, I'd love to hear from you. What helps you to avoid burnout? What do you do? What do you add to your life so that you refresh your spirit, that you refuel your soul? What do you do? Add these things to your life. Read, yes, warm baths and a good book, reading the scriptures, naps. I actually took a nap yesterday, people. That is so not like me, especially on a weekday, but I was tired in the middle of the day. And I laid down and I took a nap for a little while because the kids were busy on something. So take that time to add in to your life so that you have the energy and the strength to give out to others so that you don't avoid burnout. I did a series on Money Saving Mom on um, how to avoid burnout that went much more in depth and shared a lot of other things. And I posted that on my scope page this morning. So if you go to moneysavingmom.com forward slash scope, there's a link to the series. It's, um, I think it's a six part series, so it's pretty long. But if you're feeling like you just would love some practical encouragement and tips for avoiding burnout be sure to go to moneysavingmom.com forward slash scope for that series and I am NOT gonna be doing a money making mom scope this afternoon because I have meetings but I might hop on later today I have a couple of short one-minute scopes that I want to share and we'll see if I have a chance to do those I've been having fun doing the one-minute scopes um, I did a little scope on our baked oatmeal that we're having for breakfast this morning making that last night and um, I'm just trying something out we'll see um, but I'd love to hear from you if you um, I'd love to get your feedback I've tr been trying different links of scopes and I'd love to hear do you like the longer chit chatty ones do you like the really short to the point ones what is a good time frame for you I can't promise that I'll follow it but I'm trying to experiment with a lot of different things to kind of figure out what is best for my audience <laughs> one minute dance parties you like both I, I feel like maybe mixing them up um, kind of helps so that those of you who you can't do the long scopes um, you can hop on and know that you're going to get the full scope. Um, but then those of you who just kind of want to hang out sometimes, um, but I'd love, so you can tweet at me. Um, my Twitter is, uh, money savvy mom, I'm money savvy mom on Twitter. So I'd love to hear if you have any specific feedback or you can, um, email through the contact form on money savvy mom.com. But anyway, um, thank you so much. Thanks for joining us and I'm hop off and then I'll hop back on and do the rising strong book club post. So I hope you have a post. I keep saying post scope. So I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon.